leave your window open. This is the first advice I can give you when traveling to Wakatabi Island. When the plane approaches the airport the view you get from above is stunning. A green island surrounded by all shades of blue. You can see the reefs, shallow warm beaches, and the boats floating on crystal clear water. If you are dreaming of traveling to paradise, here is your fix, book a trip to Wakatabi, Indonesia, follow our mini guide and be happy. Wakatabi is a group of four islands, Wangi Wangi, Wa, Elgipa, Ka, Tamiya, Tu, and Binanko, Bai, located in southeast Sulawesi, Indonesia. It's also a marine national park, the second largest coral reef in the world, with more than 750 species of fish, 850 known types of coral, and 50 spectacular dive spots. The natural features make Wakatobi Islands one of the world's best place to dive and snorkel. This underwater paradise is still an unknown destination in southeast, and it's not easy to travel there, but totally worth it. There are plenty of things to do in Wakatobi, and if like me, you are an average swimmer without a diving certification, no worries you can enjoy the island too. I stayed in Wakatobi three days, time enough to explore some islands, enjoy nature, learn about their culture and fall in love. Divers and non-divers, beach bums, sailors, nature lovers. Wakatobi Islands must be on your travel bucket list. Book a flight to this little paradise, enjoy the sun on your skin, the gentle breeze in your hair, taste fresh fish and sweet coconut water. To help you plan a trip to Wakatobi Islands we put together a mini guide, how to get to the islands, hotels to stay and things to do in Wakatobi. Travel tips to enjoy the best of these tropical islands. Water activities are the top things to in Wakatobi, you can book a tour based on your swimming skills and how comfortable you feel in and under the water. Diving is the big thing in Wakatobi, the resorts and the dive agencies have daily trips to some amazing spots in the Marine National Park. Doesn't matter which level you are, if you have the equipment or not, those guys know how to organize everything and you only need to bring you underwater camera. I had a blast snorkeling in Wakatobi. The shallow bays with coral gardens and the underwater cliffs give you an outstanding snorkeling experience. You don't get bored of being in the water. During my trip in Wakatobi I had two afternoons of snorkeling, on the first day we jumped at the Sambu dive spot, at Wangi Wangi Island. The water was warm, nice corals, colored fishes and easy to swimming. Our second snorkel was at Hoga Island, two hours by boat from Wangi Wangi, and it was superb. Yellow corals, blue starfishes, and crystal clear water. Brilliant. If you are a morning person you can see the dolphins swimming around the Wakatobi Marine Park. The guides and the local people know how to predict when they are coming, and most of the time they will be swimming close to the islands between 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. Depending on which islands you are, you can do many water activities. From kayaking, sailing, stand-up paddle, kite surfing to swimming. You can choose your favorite activity, or maybe try them all and have an overdose of vitamin C. All the equipment can be rented. Don't be shy, ask the hotel staff about the water activities and enjoy every second at the Wakatabi Island. White Sand Beach warm water and palm trees, Hoga Island is the ultimate paradise in Wakatabi Island. The two hours on the boat from Wangi Wangi told they were totally worth it. Despite its beauty, the island remains undeveloped, with a few resorts and a handful of dive shops. You can go there for swimming, enjoy the day by the beach, or have lunch in one of the hotels. Don't forget to bring your sunglasses, the sand there is so white that hurts when you look at it. Wakatobi is an adventure travel destination, with a bunch of water activities and endless hours on the boat. However, if you want to be a beach bum and spend your day under the sun, do it. Appreciate nature and relax are the top things to in Wakatobi. Hoga Island is perfect for lazy days and Tai Samara and Wangi Wangi is a great option for those who want the coconut water and food without leaving the beach. The days in Wakatobi are packed with stunning nature but for me, nothing beats a golden sunset. When planning your boat tour in Wakatobi Islands ask the captain to stop the boat so you can watch the sunset in the middle of the sea. It's stunning. 
Don't book any activity between 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Catch the sunsets are a must in Wakatui, believe me. From the beach, while sailing, or from your hotel room, celebrate the moment. Enjoy the sunset and be grateful for one more day in paradise. It's not only nature that surprised me in Wakatui, the people there and their culture are peculiar too. The food, the dance, their beliefs, everything is linked with nature and the challenge of life surrounded by water. Wakatabi is not an easy destination to reach, you will need to fly to Jakarta, Bali or Makassar, and from there take another flight to Matahara Airport in Wangi Wangi Island or Tatami Island. The transportation between the four islands is by ferry or a private boat. Some diving resorts in Wakatabi Islands offer free transfer from the airport to the hotel, don't forget to ask them when doing your booking. During my trip to Wakatobi, I stayed at Patuno Hotel and Resort in Wangi Wangi Island. The location is superb, right in front of the sea, easy reach the beaches in the island and the diving spots. The hotel is simple but has all you need to relax after a long day exploring the park. It's a good value for money, the staff is lovely, but don't expect 5 star service, either internet connection. Now you know everything about this little paradise. The best things to do in Wakatobi Islands, where to stay, how to get there and practical tips to make the most of your travel experience. Start planning your trip to Indonesia now.